Hi guys, it's Ben here. Liverpool have just won another pre-season friendly against a top side. It's 5-0 against Napoli in Dublin and we are really beginning to look the business. Now, it was a very, very assured performance, not really putting a foot wrong at any point in the game. Made some changes second half, but as I thought, the first half 11 was pretty much the 11 that we'd expect to see against West Ham. Maybe one or two changes. Um, I was surprised to see Van Alden play today and I thought Fabinho might have done, but... Maybe there'll be one or two changes from this. But yeah, it was pretty much there for all to see. Um, so Gomez got the nod. I know Clavin had a knock, so that might uh, have had an effect on that. And that might have an effect on the weekend. I'm not sure the severity of Clavin's knock. Um, but forgetting all that, Liverpool have won against you know one of Serie A's top sides. It's either nearly won the Italian league last season. Napoli by five goals nil. You must remember that they're obviously a week behind in their preparations. Their season kicks off a week later than ours, and that did show. To be honest, we were we were far sharper from the first whistle, pressing high up, winning the ball. Um, everything about our play was just a, a lot more advanced than theirs, and they they didn't have the pace. They looked sluggish. Second half, they were just allowing so much space. Um, and to be honest, five 0 flattered them more than us. So let's go from the start. It was a, it was an Allison long ball that. Um, Led to Milner's goal, I say long ball, a, a long pass. Um, he, he was not blasting it away uh, aimlessly at any point during the game, Alisson. Everything was considered. He takes risks, he does take risks. And I thought overall, um, he played okay. Um, obviously, he doesn't have many shots to save. He did nearly get caught out a couple of times with through balls that he tried to come and meet. Uh, and the striker got there before him and he, you know, he obviously... Uh, the, the offside flag came to his rescue. There was that, also that one shot from outside the area that he tried to catch and he just kind of fumbled it, but it went ra uh, wide rather. So hopefully that's just uh, you know a little mistake that he's getting out of the way now rather than a long-term concern. I mean, it's not something we've seen um, from him before. So, you know, debut nerves, pre-season nerves, whatever it is, just getting back into his rhythm. But yeah, he does set up... Uh, or he does play a part in that first goal, which Milner puts away beautifully after some good uh, build-up play by Sadio Mane. Uh, the second goal is a very basic um, header, very similar to Van Dijk's against Dortmund. Uh, this time, Gini Wijnaldum, who is ma making a habit of scoring quite basic headers against Italian team, just scored, of course, in Rome in that Champions League semi-final last year to take us to Kiev. And yeah, he scores here to make it 2-0. It's another goal away from Anfield for him. Um, so let's hope he can add more of those to his game. The third is a, a wonderful curling shot from Mohamed Salah. Rome obviously felt hard done by um, they thought Mane uh, fouled the defender in the area um, but I think you know we, we probably felt hard done by with that Firmino goal being offside in the first half um, but even so it falls to Salah and it's the most confident um, sort of I mean yeah I, I was going to swear then but like the it, it's it's not just a, a bending effort, a precise shot. It's it's a bang. It's it's an absolute yeah. I'm one of the best players in the world. I can do this. And it was yeah. It, it was it was forceful. Um, it had venom. It, it was wonderful from Salah. And I don't think he had his best game. I thought Koulibaly defended really really well against him. Um, one on one in particular, Salah tried to take it around him a few times. Obviously in the Premier League, he's able to do that against a lot of average sides, and they did it you know over thirty times last season. But yeah, Koulibaly wasn't having any of it. But I mean, we had so much space. The, the, the front three were able to just find so much space and so many opportunities where it's three on two. Um, even in the second half as well, when, when Mane and Firmino and Salah went off, we, we're still finding ourselves in these situations. So I'm not sure what was happening with Napoli defensively. Obviously, they've taken out Jorginho from that side. But other than that, it was pretty much their first 11 bar Dries Merton. So that's, you know, although, as I said, they're quite behind in their, in their preparations compared to us, this is still an elite football team. And they w were at sixes and sevens, not being able to deal with the interchanging between that front three. And, and it, it was immediate. The, in, the in impact of Roberto Firmino was immediate. He took no time to settle in. His touch was completely perfect every single time. Uh, the movement, the interchanging, the swapping of positions, um, Cater pushing forward as well, Robertson down the left-hand side linking up well with Mane. Um, it was just like watching Liverpool last season, but if anything, slightly better. Like Cater just added that extra dimension, um, and I thought Milner and Van Adam got forward well as well. Um, Nathaniel Klein as well. I mean, second half, um, there was that one absolutely lung busting run that he, that he uh, d delivered down that right hand side, and Shakiri failed to pick him out. But yeah, overall, I thought Klein handled himself pretty well, and like, you know, there's a, there's a good chance he might start against West Ham. Um, so the fourth goal. Daniel Sturridge misses a couple of chances beforehand. He was never going to miss the third. It was a much easier chance. The first two, he's kind of one-on-one. -on -one. By the way, the second one of those, Curtis Jones, what a pass, by the way. He's got some vision and some um, skill to weight these passes so perfectly, Curtis Jones. I think there's no reason now why we shouldn't buy into it, to him being a... Uh, 
you know, getting some getting some minutes for Liverpool this season. But Sturridge scores as he does every single time he plays at the moment, uh, and Moreno makes it five with a lovely rasping left-footed shot um, that you kind of only really see in routes uh, a Moreno goal like that. So. Liverpool 5, Napoli 0, what can you say? It was all positive, a couple of sloppy moments of course, you're going to see that, I thought Trent obviously nearly gave away a goal at the end, um, Alisson spilling that shot in the first half, um, one or two other moments, but yeah, overall I'm really really happy with our shape going into the season, I thought Shaqiri came on and looked brilliant, his strength, his his pace, I mean he's got some serious pace on him that, that you really don't appreciate until until you kind of see it. Uh, in, in full in full swing, he he picks up the ball from deep, and he can drive, and he can pick out a pass as well. Um, it's just unfortunate that on, on that on the the main the main occasion of that, it was a Riga that was on the end of that pass, and he still can't buy a goal, unfortunately. Nor can Solanke, the poor guy who got put through one on one by Daniel Sturridge, um, who you know his, his creativity is everyone to see. Perfect for a ball for Solanke, and the keeper snuffed it out. But yeah, Liverpool win again. Um, we have got Torino to get out of the way now, and I'm ready. I'm ready to go to West Ham. Uh, at home next Sunday. Bring it on. The Reds are in full flow now, guys. And there's not going to be any more signings as far as I'm concerned, but that doesn't matter. I really do think we're in such a good place, uh, not just because of these results, but the football we're playing, it's just, it just looks like, just as it looked last season, but sped up a little bit. And just a bit, obviously they, they know each other a bit more now, and it all seems to just be coming together. And I find it hard to see how, when we've got our best team out, we're going to lose more than four or five games this season, I really do. And if, if we can put together 95 points or, or 90 points, that should, that could, will it be enough? Will it be enough? We'll see, guys. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Man of the match can go to, man of the match today can go to James Milner. Um, I just love the guy and I thought, yeah, a great goal to set things off and the intensity and his overall play in midfield covered so much ground, so fit. Yeah, I thought it was great. Um, my favourite goal, is Salas. It's just a wonderful strike. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments below, guys. What are your thoughts on today's game? Man of the match? Any other thoughts uh, going into Torino and onto West Ham? Any starting 11 questions or, or thoughts? You know, will Nathaniel Klein maybe give a nod? Uh, is Joe Gomez going to play alongside Van Dijk? What do you see happening with the midfield? Obviously, Fabinho didn't start today. We'll see. Um, anyway, it's been a pleasure, guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.